So today I'm going to make a little store where you can buy stuff and mainly weapons. I'm going to go to the toolbox and let me get a zombie so I can try my weapons out. There we go. Moving back a little. And I'll search on gun. So you have to try your weapons because a lot of the things in the, in the toolbox don't work. You probably guessed that these work because I tried this out before. But anyway, whatever you, whatever you pick, make sure you try it. See if it works. So I picked up these two things. I got my pistol. So that's causing damage. That's working. And that definitely works. That's my hyper laser. So that's good. I'm going to move these to replicated storage. I'm going to make a folder first. And I'm going to call the folder tools. Move my hyper laser and my handgun to tools. And the dueling zombie I'll just keep there. So now uh, we need some source of money and I'm not going to make a whole economic system here. I'm just going to make a leaderboard. I'm going to initialize it with $200. So I'll say leaderboard. We go ahead and local function add board and you're going to add it to the player. So BRD will be my leaderboard instance new and you can make this a folder or a model and the parent will be player so brd dot name equals you have to call this leader stats most people know that but if you don't make sure you call it leader stats or it won't work so instance new this is going to be my money that's going to be an int value and that parent is going to be the board BRD money and you're going to give it a name a formal name we have it money with a capital M let's go ahead and initialize it with 200 it's gonna be $200 now when the player enters the game we'll go players and player added connect to our ad board all right now we have a leaderboard let's go ahead and play it and there it is with my money with two hundred dollars all right now we'll continue on let's make a little button here that's going to bring up our shop so go to starter GUI screen GUI and we'll make a text button and I'm not going to align these up really really well I'm just you can do that yourself I'm just going to make a, a quick button Let's see, we'll go down to text. Let's call that shop. And I'll make the text size 30. There, there we go. And now I need to put a script on that to open and close. I'm going to do a local script because it's a button. Let's say open shop. Before we do anything there, let's get a shop. Just leave that print statement there. So the shop, I'm going to make it a frame. And I don't want to put it on the starter GUI like I just clicked. I want to put it on screen GUI. Frame. And my frame is going to be, uh, I'll call it store frame. Let's go ahead and add it about in the center. That's about right. And I'm going to put three buttons on there, a text button. And this one is going to be for my pistol. Let's say pistol button. We'll go ahead and change the text to pistol. And that's going to be $50. And we'll make that size 30. And I'm going to put another button for my hyper, my hyper laser, hyper laser gun. Let's call this laser gun. We'll call it laser button. There we go. Move that down. Laser. I'll give it the whole name. Hyper, I'll just say hyper laser. 
We'll make that 100. Text size, 30. And now my last button is going to be the buy button. So I'll say text button, buy button, and drag this down. Say buy 30. I always do that 330. And then let me make this a different color. Let's go to background color and we'll make it like green. There, that's pretty good. And we're also going to add, I'm going to do a local script. And the local script is going to be buy script or shop script. There you go, shop script is good. All right, so let's go to our open shop script right here. This under the text button, let's call that shop button. Right, and we have our open shop. And for open shop, we want a reference to our button. Button. And that's going to be script.parent. And we also need a Boolean, so is open. We're going to start out false. And then we want a reference to our store frame, because this button is going to bring up the frame. And we'll go script. So look where the script is. Script, parent. And then we got to go parent up to screen GUI, and then store frame. So we're going to hit two parents. Parent, and that's our screen GUI. And then we'll see store frame here. And let's make sure the store frame when we start the game starts out with visibility as false. All right, and we'll go local function. I'll say open close. So is open. When we press the button, is open is going to change value. It's a Boolean, so it can only be true or false. So I'm going to say not is open. So whatever it was, I'm just going to switch it. That's a toggle. And if it is open, then store frame visible equals true. Else store frame visible will equal false. And we got to hook up that open close function to our button activated. Connect and I'm going to say open, whoops, open, close. So now we can try this out. And I hit my shop and it's opening and closing. We still can't buy anything yet. All right, let's, let's fix that. Let's go to our shop script. And we have a couple buttons, right? So we have local buy button, script, and then we go parent. So our script is here. Parent is the store. And then we can access our three buttons. So I'll say buy button, right? And then we have our pistol button, script, parent. There's our pistol button. And we have our laser button. Oops, I always think there's a Z in laser. Script, parent, and then what do we call that laser button? There. And we want, we're going to have a couple variables, and one is going to be the item name. And the other one is going to be the price. So I'm just going to uh, declare them here. And now we need to get a player, which shouldn't be that hard because this is a local script, right? So it's get service and then players and then we can get our local player and I make any mistakes I think that's right there we go and we also need replicated storage we need that for a couple reasons but right now what we're going to do is when I equip the gun I'm going to equip it on the server side because some weapons don't work if you only equip it client side. 
So we're going to have this remote event, and that's how we're going to get our weapon. So we have to get our remote, our replicated storage. I'm going to wait for child. And now I'm going to call it. I didn't make it yet, but I'm going to call it equip re. So let's go to our replicated storage. And right here it is. We're going to say remote event. And I'm going to say equip re. So I'm going to fire that remote event. And then I'm going to have a server script service uh, stick the weapon in my backpack. All right, so we're going to have three functions, local function, and one's going to be select pistol. So I want to make the pistol button light up if I select it. So I can get the background color, and I'm going to change that to a different color. So the the color three, you would think of zero to 255, but it's actually zero to one. So 0.5 is like 50% of RG, our RGB values. So that's 50% R, 50% G, and then blue, I'll make it 100%. Uh, we have our laser button. And that one, I'm gonna ensure that it's not selected so that it's still white. So I'll just make that one, 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 so that's white. And then my item, I'm going to set that as handgun. So this name here has to match what's in replicated storage right here, handgun. And then the price, that's how much we're going to charge our player. All right, so this one, if I was clever, I'd just make one function and be able to pass all the different items in. But I'm going to be simple, and I'm going to make select laser. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to switch these two. So I'll say copy, paste, and then I want my pistol button right here. And that'll switch the colors. Now I need to spell this the same as what's in replicated storage. So that's hyper laser gun. I made that price 100. All right, now I need a buy it script. Local function buy it. And this is where I'm gonna get my money from my player from his leader stats. So I have to spell his leader stats. And that's always gonna be leader stats for a leaderboard. I'm gonna say find first child, money. And this name right here has to match, where's our leaderboard? That name in the leaderboard. All right, so if money.value is greater than or equal to the price, then we're going to take the money value and we are going to subtract from the original price whatever the price of the weapon was. Oh, look at that. Look what I did here. Oh, no, I got it price. All right, and now in order to equip it, in order to equip the item, I'm going to fire my remote event, say fire server, and I'm going to pass the item, just the item name. Now fire server also passes the player as the first object. You just gotta kind of have to know that. All right, so let's hook up our buttons to activated connect and then I'm going to say buy it and then I'm going to say pistol button activated connect and that's select pistol I got one more I got I got my buy I got my pistol oh I have to do my select laser so laser button there it is activated and then connect that to select laser all right now on the remote side so this is going to fire so we have to be able to catch it somewhere you may as well put it in server script storage so i'm going to just put a script here and i'm going to call this um, equip item
and then I'm going to go to my shop script and I'm going to need these for that remote or for that remote event. So they're going to be exactly the same. Just plop them right in here. And then this is how I'm going to catch it. I'm going to say RE for re uh, remote event on server event connect. Let's call this give tool. We didn't define that. Let's define that now. So local function give tool player item. So player will come through. Uh, we didn't have to, we didn't send that, right? So down here, we just sent the item, but player defaults as the first, the first argument. All right, so we'll have our local, let's get a reference to that tools folder. So in rem, uh, replicated storage, we're going to wait for child and we're going to get tools. And then with that tools folder, we're going to get a tool. Tools find first child and it's going to be our item it's going to be right here so either handgun or hyper laser gun and then we can go ahead and clone that and then this is the important part tool parent is going to go to the player backpack and if you want it to go into the starter gear in case he dies, you'll have to clone it again and then have tool parent of the second clone put it in starter gear. All right, so this should work. Let's go ahead and try it and start our game. Hopefully we don't get too many errors. And a shop and I'll buy my pistol. And you can see that went down 50 and I have a pistol here. I'm gonna buy my hyper laser. Ooh, there it is. And I only have $50 left. So I have to hit this button to make that go away. Uh, ah, that's not gonna be enough. Boom, we got him. And that's how you make a store. Now there's a lot of stuff you can do to add to that. This is kind of a rough, a rough uh, quick tutorial, but it should get you started.